Good morning. Today we are going to look at the concept of acceleration with this video clip. Specifically, we are going to calculate the acceleration of the character from when he activates his rockets, which are circled, to when he comes to a stop. So what is acceleration? Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity for an object with respect to time. When does an object accelerate? An object accelerates when it changes direction. For example, when this car turns, it is accelerating. An object also accelerates when it changes speed. In this example, we have a car slowing down. It is accelerating. In addition, if an object changes direction and changes speed at the same time, it is accelerating. Now for our question today, and for the time of interest, from when he activates his rockets to when he comes to a stop, the direction is moving down, so that's not changing. However, his speed is changing. We define this as the initial time, time 1, when he activates his rockets. Clearly at this time he is moving at a high speed, he's falling. We define this time as time 2, he comes to a momentary stop. Here is our equation that we'll be using to determine his acceleration. This equation has some limitations and it also has some assumptions that we'll discuss later on. So his final velocity is 0. Why is that? Well, we've defined the final time, time 2, as being this point where he momentarily comes to a stop. What's his initial velocity? Well, we know at time one, as he's about to turn on his rockets, he's traveling at a high speed. Just prior to turning on the rockets, he's in this position. Now, according to the internet, in a stable belly to earth position, Terminal velocity of the human body is around 200 kilometers an hour, or 120 miles per hour. We will assume that he is traveling at that speed just prior to activating the rockets. That's around 55.6 meters per second. And so there's his initial velocity, 55.6 meters per second down. Remember, velocity always requires a direction. What about the elapsed time? So how much time has passed from time one, where he turns on his rockets, to time two, where he comes to a stop? Well, to do this, we're going to count frames. With the video paused at time one, on a computer, you can use the period key to move the video one frame forward or you can use the comma key to move the video one frame backward. Those two keys move a video back and forth one frame at a time when you're watching a video in YouTube and the video is paused. So I'm going to show you this now. So with the video paused at time one, I'm going to begin to press the period key and count the number of frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. At that point he seems almost stationary, so we'll end the count there. As you can see we just counted twenty-three frames, the frame rate for our video is 24 frames per second. Dividing these two numbers, our elapsed time is 0.9583 seconds. And now we substitute our numbers into our formula. And there's our acceleration, negative 58 meters per second per second down. Now what were those assumptions we were talking about? 
Well, whenever we use that equation, we are assuming constant acceleration while slowing down. This is probably not valid. It's not valid because the force due to the rockets is most likely not constant. In addition, the drag force is not constant. So this is an assumption that definitely is not valid. So at best, when we say the acceleration is negative 58 meters per second per second, it's an estimation. Because it's an estimation, we can really only have one significant digit. The other reason why we can only really have one significant digit is because we estimated his velocity just prior to activating his rockets to be 200 kilometers per hour. Is this acceleration humanly possible? The answer is yes, it is humanly possible. There's at least one extreme roller coaster, according to the internet, that achieves this acceleration for a certain small amount of time. In addition, there are several more roller coasters across the world that will achieve accelerations very close to this value. In addition, fighter pilots also experience this acceleration while turning their plane at high speed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.